Hi everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Don and Pearl. This is episode 5. And in the last episode we took on the gym leader Rock. And at the end we had a quick sneak peek of this. Jamie is about to get her and teach these horrible men a lesson. Here we go. First double battle you will have. With your rival Dawn. I don't know if she gets battle Dawn but. Later on in the game we'll have another team. Uh, have another battle. Kind of like this. You and Dawn versus Team Galactic. And you can actually see what she has on her team when you find her Pokemon. At the moment she just has Turtwig, so... There we go, we're going all out grass. What should we go for? I'm going to go for Stun Spawn Zubat. And uh, switch into Overdrive. Okay, we Power up until it landed. Of course, we have a power because it did land. Here we go, Tertwig is. Oh, whoa, nice. Not bad damage. Hello, and gas speed. Which isn't really going to do anything to us whatsoever. But now, just to speed things up a little bit, we go into overdrive. Yeah, Pearl Power. Like, no, w literally the last two episodes we caught team members. Episode 3, we got Petal Power. Episode 4, we got Kinesis. And I realised I actually spelled Kinesis wrong. Which is thankfully why I can, in the next, well, Gym City, I will be able to change it. Which won't be that bad. No, it's kind of like Kinesis. No, it's like... Kinesis. 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 Instead of Kinesis. Which is kind of weird, but... This Wurble should go down from one ember. Hey, look, Overdrive and Turtle are just chilling next to each other. I've said this already, but... Whenever I won't go through the game normally, I always have, like, when I have Gym Jar. I have him evolved before the first gym. But this time, that's not going to be the case because I want to use Chinchar for a little longer. This evolves earlier than the other two starters. Gives you a little less time to use Chinchar, but it's for a reasoning which helps you out for the gym. Then you're going to evolve quicker. There we go. Wormple and Zuba are down. And these Tin Galactic Grunts are down. How is this madness possible? Two of us losing to a child, children? Just won't do. Time to retreat. 720 pocket dollars for winning. Leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. That lot, they called themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolved, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that's that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use that power for something. Anyway, Jamie, well done. You're about quite capable. So, if you're training a Pokemon battling together, I made the right decision in enriching you with the Pokédex. Jamie, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. Going to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So Jerry, let's keep battling on our let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. There we go. Off they go and then this guy comes up. Well that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. Oh, you to have something for telling me Letting me see that smashing battle. Here's the fashion case. We'll use this in a sec for reasons you'll see in a minute. Does the people want to watch their appeal grow? Right now the TV station is offering its facilities to visitors who can dress up their Pokemon. So basically we can now go inside this building to our left. Which there was a clown in front of us before but now we are able to go in here. Dinner, dinner. This 
music is just great. But every single day, you can come over here and you have a chance of winning um, prizes, which there are actually items that can increase your chances of winning. Here we go. Lotto ticket, let's try it. We draw a lotto ticket. Let's see if it matches the ID. I'm sorry, you didn't get a match. I think the worst thing you can get is actually pretty good though. It's an ultra ball. And the best is a master ball, but only in Diamond and Pearl, you'll have a trying to be here and it'll change every day. Um, in Platinum, there's nobody here to battle, but here we go. Clearly. Yes, Mr. Mime there. He has, he's in Platinum actually. In later on, I'm, I recognise the name. That was in, um, I think he's in the Heart Home City and Platinum. In the, um, Pokemon Center. So possibly, what the people that you battle here are just, uh, what's it called? Actually, like, scared around, you know? But here we go. I'm actually a big fan of Mr. Mime. The only thing I'm not really a fan of is, I guess, his appearance a bit, but... I don't really like the fact that it doesn't have that much health later on when it comes to health. Yeah. But level 17, this Mr. Mime will be the highest level of Pokemon you will have seen so far. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, what's it trying to learn? Is it really trying to learn Ember? It's copied itself. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty stupid. Come on. There we go. Can we get a burn? Nope. This battle is actually gonna be pretty stupid. Gonna be pretty time consuming. So yeah, you rebel them and that's about it. But upstairs, I believe it's this room. Since we now have the fashion case, we can go talk to this guy. Oh, your Pokemon are so very charming. Now, how enchanting. They're so charming. I will even hang a picture of one right beside me. I'm only doing this especially for you. Exciting, don't you think? Dress up your Pokemon in, in photo. Make it a sight to behold. I will snap a photo when you're done. You'll do this, won't you? Yep. So basically, any of the Pokemon in your party... You can just put accessories on, but we can obviously do this. Good, what? Oh, yeah, I want to do some kinesis. <laughs> I hope you will dress it up adorably. Abra adorable. I guess he can be kind of cute. But yeah, on the touch screen, I'll use this because you won't be able to see this. But let's begin dressing. I'll go show you the uh, finishing touches, I guess. Okay, so the design is complete. We didn't have the most amount of items, but I'll show you in a little bit uh, how to get um, a little bit more items for here. So, to describe it, hmm. Cuteness. Okay, there we go. A very cute Abra. You'll see. <laughs> very handsome. There we go. <laughs> Not the best, but you see his little mustache on his nose there. He's got a little ear stash. Little puffy ears and a puppy tail. But yeah, you can see how you, what you can do with it. We've got a little animated background, but there we go. Jamie Cuteness. And you could do that with any of your party Pokemon. And, yeah. Just do what you want with it. If you ever want to dress up your Pokemon, then feel free. But, that's not all we can do. Now we're at 204 that we have the TM for uh, HM for Rock Smash. If we come in here the rocks that were in our way before we are now able to destroy but before going to our exit over the, the right if you come over really geodude oh never mind it's a zoo back uh, 
My mistake. Okay, I thought it was gonna be Geo Dude, but it wasn't. Okay, so over here at the left, you can actually find an item ball, and inside. Oh my god. Inside of the item ball will be. TM39 for Rock Tomb. I suggest that if you caught a Geodude, definitely put it on. Uh, it can actually work if you have evolved your Chimchar. But I suggest just keeping it on your Geodude. Or Onyx, I guess would work too. Just for that extra attack bonus, having the same, you know. It's the same type move of your Pokemon. Here we go, let's go destroy these rocks. Well, this rock. And go exit. But the reason why, in episode 2 or 3, I said that's the end of route 2 or 4 for now, is because it's actually a continued route. And we have a whole new area to explore, so we have this girl here. It's a vowel while smelling the aroma of flowers. Basically, the next town we're going into is all about flowers. So if you're a hippie, you're gonna really like this place. From a lady Taylor. Sent it, Badoo. I really should have healed up. Ah, but I guess. Oh wait, I literally have three mega drains. Well, I just hope we can all this thing. Who knew Badoof was actually going to be really helpful, but there we go. Badoof just took it down, and here's a new Pokemon. This is Cherubi, which I want to talk a bit more about when we can go do the honey trees, which you'll see a little later on. But here we have, yes, the cherry Pokemon Cherubi. Pretty fast, actually, for, well, a cherry. You'd expect a cherry to be, well, really slow since it's like an inanimate object and all, but... Yeah, here we have this little cherry. That's Cherubi. It has an ability that, well, well when it evolves it, it can literally change in the sun. Which, well, that's enough that I'm going to talk about this Pokemon. I'll talk a bit more about it once it comes to... Pokemon you can get through honey trees. There we go. Bidoof is level 5. And with that. Oh, he learned Growl. But with that. Oh, we got to level 6 as well. Okay. We defeated our own Lady Tyler. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. Well, I can assume Cherubi would smell pretty nice with. Uh, well, being a cherry. And your, your hair smells beautiful. Okay, enough about her hair. Oh. Okay, so Petal Power literally just can two shot this thing with Mega Dry, and that's how bad its defenses are. Well, I guess how bad Cricketite is, that's what I mean. And how. I guess over leveled we are. We're not exactly over leveled. I mean, we're at the right level. It's just compared to these Pokemon we're going up against. I guess we are. But here we go, Bidoof. He's now level 6, so. Should hopefully be able to take these things down with a, a struggle. Yeah, here's Wormple. Early book type that you'll find in each generation. Uh, this one's from Generation 3. So if you ever played Ruby, Sapphire or Emerald, you'll already know about this thing. But anyways, it evolves into the Cocoon, either depending on, um, I think it's stats actually. I think um, the, it can either, well, it'll either evolve into Silcoon or Cascoon. Cascoon's just basically Silcoon, but a bit more pink and... Cascoon evolves into Dustox and um, what's it called? Silcoon evolves into Beautifly. I always would get a Beautifly when I was little because I could never, for some reason, I never got 
a cask in another and end up getting Silcoon. But I was like, oh wow, I want to do stocks. He's not that great, but you know, it's alright. Can't believe my. Oh, I was going to say, can he make it to level 7? But now with this, hopefully we can just avoid these trainers. If they do, we've lost. There we go. Okay, thank you. But here, we have a TM for Bullet Seed. A physical? For some reason, I have it. I have a thing special. Uh, that's busy. Yeah, it's physical. Physical move for your grass type Pokemon. I want to go get, teach this to Petal Power. Because. It has naughty nature which improves its attack. So why not give him an attacking move that's not special? Like Mega Drain is. There we go. And with that, we have made it to Floroma Town. Now I'm gonna heal up and I guess I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so now that we've healed up. Let's, just, before we end off the episode, I know we haven't done too much, but, you know, I guess we actually have, but whatever. Uh, here we have Floroma Town. As soon as you come in, you're kind of going to realise this building here. This is like the flower shop. Um, and if you talk to this lady over here, I always ended up skipping out this bit because it's not, not exactly needed, but it's actually going to be really helpful in battle. Here you go. Would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? We do not have any of that at the moment. So that's what you do once you have your berries. But if you talk to, I believe it's not this girl. It's the... Oh. Okay, so this girl will give you a chest or berry. And I guess that berry changes depending on the day. And here we have this girl. Trying to please water berries using this spray duck watering can. There's the spray duck. And I remember actually coming here just for the spray duck on a little. And I thought that was funny. <laughs> I mean, this the top looks like he has hair. But, basically, now we've got the spray duck. You can pick berries. Oh, you can already do that. But with the spray duck, you can now repre replenish berries. If you go onto your berry, which one you want to replenish? You just go on, I guess, orange berry because we have two, and then sprinkle some water. There we go. They're all happy, and now it's going to eventually become a berry over time. And like now, you pick them, and they'll be about one. Yes, but when you grow back, when you grow them back. They will end up becoming more than one. Say I come back here tomorrow, there could be about six. That's how overpowered this can be. There you go, I put orange berries there, so we can come back tomorrow and then there'll just be orange berries here. But thank you for watching episode five. If you enjoyed, then let me know. But in the next episode, we've got a lot of things to do with Team Galactic. Here's a quick sneak peek, I guess, what we're going to be doing. Help, help, trainer! Please, can you get my pepper for me? It works at the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like spacemen are mean. They won't let me in. See you guys then.